First federal investigators have released their findings into how a United Airlines jet slid off the runway at Bush Airport. Take a look. You might remember this video when we first showed it to you back on March 8th. That jet landed on a wet runway before it slid off into the grass and the plane got stuck. Well, Brittany Jeffers is joining us now with some key takeaways coming out of this report. Yeah, Amy, and it, there's certainly a lot to go through here. But as we look at this, we know that United Airlines has been facing a lot of oversight now from the FAA after there's been a string of recent incidents. And you referenced the yeah. one that just now happened here. A big takeaway from this report that was released from the NTSB in Houston simply comes down to water. It was a rainy and misty morning that day. It left the runway wet, which, as you can imagine, makes it more difficult to stop a massive Boeing jet. The NTSB also says that the pilot went against United protocol for landing in these conditions. Meanwhile, the pilot says that the manual brakes appeared to be working slower than usual. Computer systems on the jet say that the pilot didn't press the brakes until there was only 4,000 feet of runway left. An aviation expert who reviewed this report tells KPRC2 that speed while exiting the runway coupled with wet conditions are two major factors in the accident. It seems so from what the NTSB reported, uh, it is different from what the is on United Protocol. That is correct. Now, I know it's easiest uh, uh, thing to do in life is to money more in quarterback. These were good aviators or good pilots. I just read what the NTSB wrote about them. So here in this picture, this shows where the left landing gear hit a concrete manhole and the force of that tore the landing gear from the plane. Now, in this instance, no one was hurt. Yeah, and I, I hear exactly what he's saying. It's easy to Monday morning quarterback, mm -hmm. um, but then you have to think it rains all the time. I mean, there. so do we know if that particular pilot is still flying? And that is a big question. That is something that KPRC2 reached out to the airline immediately asking, is this pilot still flying? Now, they wouldn't say or expand on that other than to tell us that they're working with investigators. So still some questions. Here. All right. Thanks a lot, Brittany. We appreciate it.